The Olympic Games going on across the Atlantic Ocean, but that does not mean you can't get scammed. Steve Weissman will join us with tips on what to look out for. A live look at London, England. Isn't it gorgeous? And that's where the opening ceremonies for the 2012 Summer Games were held tonight. And while you were sitting at home cheering on the American athletes in their quest for gold, there will be people seeking to capitalize on your patriotic spirit. Joining us tonight with some warnings about Olympic, sca Olympic scams, rather, Steve Wiseman, a Massachusetts attorney, Bentley University professor, and the authors of seven books, including The Truth About Avoiding Scams. He also runs the website scamaside.com. You do so many things, Steve. <laughs> Steve, thanks so much for being here. Always my pleasure. Now, when you join us always, you make me really Scared. nervous. You know it. I see you in the newsroom and I run the other way <laughs> because you make me never want to log on to uh, the Internet. So let's get right to these Olympic scams. Uh, what if you're looking for the results and you hit a search engine like Google? You should be okay, right? No, unfortunately, because the scammers are really technologically pretty smart. And so they know the algorithms uh, to get themselves at the top of your Google search. So you click on what you think should be a good site and all of a sudden a pop up comes up, you've been infected. Well, you haven't been infected, but if you click to clear that infection, you'll download a keystroke malware plan and it'll, uh, it'll read everything in your computer. Or it may be something that comes up and uh, suddenly it's going to exploit what you have is maybe your computer software that hasn't been, your security software hasn't been kept up to date. You also believe Olympic scam scammers can wreak havoc through Adobe Acrobat. Yeah, what happens is a lot of us don't keep our software up to date and they know that. And there's one that's going on particularly, it's uh, based in China. And so if you look for the, uh, the schedule of events, again, it's going to be high in the search engine comes up, you need to use your Adobe Acrobat for it, it's going to exploit that vulnerability and you're going to have that keystroke logging plan. We all love to win things, okay? So how about the scams involving Olympic memorabilia, those contests? Yeah, you know, this is one of these things where, remember, it's hard to win enough a contest even if you enter it. But if you don't enter it, it's even harder. And <laughs> some of the uh, sponsors are being taken advantage of, Coca-Cola in particular. There are scams that are using Coke's name and it comes up with a contest you've won and you've got two ways of losing. One is maybe it's for that memorabilia that you've just won. You just need to enter some personal information which they use to make you a victim of identity theft. The other way is uh, you have to pay some administrative costs and of course you're not going to get any prize and you are going to pay the money. So you win a prize they say but you have to pay a little bit to get the prize. Right, just your fees or maybe taxes and that's one thing. No lottery ever asks you to pay taxes. You may owe taxes on that, but you pay that yourself or it's deducted before you get it. Okay, that's a good point. What about the games themselves? Is there any way the, the hackers can ruin the results of the games? I almost believe that I could guarantee this is going to happen at really? some time. You know how you've seen uh, roadside signs, the electric signs, and somehow they've been hacked into? I think we're going to see it at this Olympics. Someone is going to make their, their joke, whether it'll be Mickey Mouse crossing the finish line or a different order, but uh, I don't think their security is as good as the hackers. Oh, that is so disheartening. You think Facebook's at risk for Olympic scammers or hackers? Oh, absolutely. You can't trust your friends. And, uh, really? You know, you can't <laughs> trust anybody. What will happen there is you'll get an email or you'll get a message on Facebook from a friend saying, you've got to see this video. Here is Michael Phelps slipping by the pool. Well, unfortunately, when you click on that video, again, you're going to get that keystroke logging program that's going to steal everything from your computer. It's very easy to hack into someone's Facebook page. And so it comes from what you think is your friend, but it's not. Either that or it comes from your friend we and have, they've been hacked. We have 30 seconds. Give us some quick advice. Best thing I could say is keep your uh, software up to date, your security software, and only go to legitimate sites that you know are real when it comes to uh, Olympic information. Well, Steve Wiseman, you have scamaside.com where you have more tips for people. I know I'm going to visit when I, after I take a break. I, you, you've overloaded <laughs> me with scary things. Thank you so much, as always, for being here. My pleasure. All right.